What up, you amazing people? How's it going? This is Bharat here. Welcome back to another video on Flutter. Today's Sunday, and I'm back with the Flutter in three minute widget series. If you're new to the channel, what we do on Sundays is that we review a Flutter widget under three minutes. There are a lot of things that you can do in three minutes, and uh, reviewing a Flutter widget is definitely one of them. So let me get this thing started with what is the topic for today. The topic for today is going to be about the selectable text widget. Very new, very recent, came out only the one Flutter 1.9 release. So we're going to be reviewing about that and learning how to use that and what are the uses of that. All of that is going to be covered in under three minutes. If you're ready, let's get this thing started. All right, so this is a sample application that I have right in my uh, here. So what, what does that do? It usually has uh, text and we can just show the text. I have also have the application running here. So what happens is that you cannot select this text no matter what what if the user wants to select this text or copy this text and put it uh, into somewhere else this is a simple use case usually you do that and it's also important that we can handle that in flutter so flutter 1.9 release came out with that simple ability to do that you can do that by just changing this text widget into a selectable text and as soon as you do that it's just as simple as that and you just save it and run it and now what happens is that it has done the hot reload so in, in double click that it gives us with this opportunity this uh, ability to just select and copy and do all of these things so that is how simple you can change your text into selectable text with just this change in the name of a widget so what other properties the selectable widget has so we have a lot of properties that selectable widget can provide us with primarily it's going to be the style which is text style and there are other important properties like uh, we have struts touch style text align all of those things are actually basics of text align whether you've been seeing in text widgets in rich text and all of that there's another constructor that is also available with selectable text which is nothing but the selectable text dot rich so what does this rich do it's it's going to be again similarly doing the same work for us uh, but one additional thing it's going to do is it's going to help us in giving a rich text widget now what did we see in the last sunday's widget series was that we created a simple rich text widget which had a simple something like this we had a simple um, which takes a text span and now we can give a text and i'm going to say hello here and or uh, i'll say hello and next thing that you can do is go in and create children and this this is going to be a, a list of children so we can just do a text span of here and as soon as you do that we are provided with the list of abilities to can change i'll do another text span here and i'll do a text of i'll say forgot how code okay text should be coder now what is the text uh, rich text which are used for it's going to be giving us this ability to change every single word and it's going to be spanning everything out and for example i'll just give this a color i'll say um colors dot red and uh, the next is going to be another text span and i'll just copy paste that so this becomes easier we have only very limited time so i'll just say coder and I'll say monk. So this is going to be our rich text widget, right? Again, and uh, it's going to be applying the same work for us here again. We can do a style again here and do a base style for entire span. Uh, I'll do a size, which is important because uh, if you cannot read it until then. All right. So this is how it's going to look like. So if you go here, we have hello coder monk, and we can just do a double click here, and you can still select that. It's very as as simple as that and also very very useful we never know what the user is going to do with our text so it's important that we can change our text into selectable text it's going to provide a much better use case and that's how simple the flutter's selectable text widget is it came out in the flutter 1.9 release and uh, as usual we learned it under three minutes so if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button as well as subscribe button let me meet you in the next video until then it's Bharat peace out have a super awesome day